In today's lesson, you will learn five phrasal verbs that use the word act. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and that's Hope. And I'm here to teach you real English use in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the phrasal verbs act as, act out, act up, act on, and act upon. But let's first start with the definition of just the word act. You probably already know the definition of the word act as it means to perform in a movie or TV show or a play. For example, I make YouTube videos to teach English, but I'm not interested in acting or being an actress. But act can also mean other things. And knowing the other definitions will help you to understand the related phrasal verbs better. It can also mean to do something in a certain way for a reason. This is used in a little more of a formal context. Like to act in good faith means to do something honestly or to act out of necessity means to do something because you feel like you have to. It can also mean to do something more immediately like the firefighters acted quickly and were able to put out the fire before much damage was done. Or it can mean to do something as another person's representative. For example, the attorney was acting for the company when she did the interview. It can also mean to behave in a way that bothers people or is different than usual behavior. As in, he was acting crazy last week. Or it can mean to have an effect like, the medicine won't act immediately. You have to wait about an hour. Or antibiotics only act on bacterial infections. They don't help with a viral infection like a cold. Now, the first of the phrasal verbs I want to teach you are act upon and act on. They mean the same thing. It, they mean to do something after getting information related to it. For example, when he asked her to sign the contract, he was acting on the advice of his attorney. Act as means to do the job of a specific person or thing. Like, I don't know Portuguese. Can you act as a translator for me? Act up means to behave badly and is usually used when talking about kids. It can also mean to for something to not be working or functioning correctly. A couple of sample sentences are, his kids were really acting up at the party last night. Or, her old air conditioner is acting up. She will probably need to buy a new one soon. Also, ACT UP with capital letters is an international organization to help people with AIDS. And it stands for AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power. You may hear of that sometimes, too. And the last phrasal verb with ACT is ACT OUT which is, means a little bit like acting. It means to show how something happened before by doing it yourself. For example, the nurses are practicing what they should do in, in an emergency by acting out what they saw on the news. And it can also mean to express feelings through behavior, usually negative feelings. Like, I think his misbehavior was just him acting out after hearing his parents arguing the night before. I didn't make a quiz for this lesson either. I didn't think it would be that helpful for this one, but while you're here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And you can also sign up to get emails and other English help from me. And if you have time, then please watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. That's all for today's lesson. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.